Welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm Ozzy and today we are going to learn how to decompose fractions into a sum of fractions. Let's look at the fraction 5 sevenths. When decomposing or breaking down a fraction, look at the numerator to tell you how many pieces of the whole you have. In this fraction, we have 5 and can break 5 down in a couple of ways. We can use the numerators 1 and 4 to make 5 sevenths or the numerators 3 and 2 to make 5 sevenths. Here we have 9 fourths, which can be broken down into a sum of fractions in many different ways. Think about all the ways you can make 9. When using these combinations as the numerators and 4 as the denominator, you are creating expressions that represent 9 fourths. 9 fourths can also be decomposed into a set of multiple numbers. Look at this example. When adding the numerators, do you still get a sum of 9? Let's check. 2 plus 3 equals 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9. This expression has a sum of 9 fourths. Frances is learning a new dance to her favorite song. She is 7 eighths of the way to posting her dance and becoming a star. Which expression has a sum of 7 eighths? Let's check the first one. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 2 equals 11. This expression has a sum of 11 eighths and is incorrect. Let's add the numerators of the second expression and see if we get 7 eighths. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. This expression has a sum of 7 eighths. Hooray! Let's check the third one to see if it works. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10. This expression has a sum of 10 eighths and is incorrect. You are ready to practice on your own. Have fun!